Wherefore redemption cometh in and through the Holy Messiah, for he is full of grace and truth. And we talk of Christ, we rejoice in Christ, we preach of Christ, we prophesy of Christ. And we write according to our prophecies that our children may know to what source they may look for a remission of their sins. Behold, I say unto you that none of the prophets have written nor prophesied, say they have spoken concerning this Christ. And I soon go to the place of my rest, which is with my Redeemer. For I know that in him I shall rest. For behold, this day he hath spiritually begotten you, for ye say that your hearts are changed through faith on his name. Therefore ye are born of him and have become his sons and his daughters. For all those that have kept the commandments of God shall come forth in the first resurrection. Ought ye not to tremble and repent of your sins and remember that only in and through Christ ye can be saved? And may the Spirit of the Lord be poured out upon you, and may He grant unto you eternal life through the redemption of Christ, whom He has prepared from the foundation of the world. Preach unto them repentance and faith on the Lord Jesus Christ. And now, the plan of mercy could not be brought about except an atonement should be made. Yea, remember that there is no other way nor means whereby man can be saved only through the atoning blood of Jesus Christ. But behold, the resurrection of Christ redeemeth mankind, yea, even all mankind, and bringeth them back into the presence of the Lord. Repent of all your sins and iniquities, and believe in Jesus Christ, that He is the Son of God. And now I would commend you to seek this Jesus, of whom the prophets and apostles have written, that the grace of God the Father, and also the Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost which beareth record of them, may be and abide in you forever. Amen.